In this video, I'm going to break down the best way to invest your money to maximize gains. I'll also show you how you can minimize your tax burden by investing in certain accounts. And stick around till the end of the video because following these steps in the correct order can make or break your financial future. Hi, I'm Jeremy Zargami and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you the most efficient way to invest your money and what order is best to maximize your gains and lower your tax burden at the same time. If you haven't already, click that like button because the way the YouTube algorithm works, if you don't click that like button, YouTube will show this video to less people. So in order to help out this channel and to help more people see this great content hit that like button down below and if you're a beginner investor don't forget to subscribe this channel is all about helping out new investors and guiding them along on their journey of growing their wealth so be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see every time i post a new video now let's get into it disclaimer before we start i'm not a professional financial advisor so please always do your own research before investing and never blindly trust some random guy on youtube so if you've already been investing into the market and watch this video and realize maybe i was doing some things out of order that's okay the fact that you've started investing is the most important thing even if the order isn't the most ideal deal it's still better than not investing at all having your money sit on the sidelines in a savings account that isn't getting you any interest is the worst thing you could do so don't worry if you've already started investing you can change course from here moving forward if you haven't started investing you can invest the right way right from the start which is great so either way starting to follow this order will maximize the effectiveness of your investing portfolio and I'm excited to share it with you guys so the first thing you're gonna want to do is see if your employer has a 401k matching program how a 401k matching program works is however much you contribute to your retirement fund your employer will match you hundred percent up to a certain amount so if you put $5,000 into your retirement account, your employer will match you and put another $5,000 into your retirement account. This is technically free money, so you must take advantage of this. Most employers will have a cap of how much they'll match your contribution. So you want to max out your employer match into your 401k or 403b. 401ks are double tax advantaged on the front end. So the money goes in pre-tax and it doesn't get taxed on the growth. But when you go to pull out money in retirement, you'll be taxed on the money that you pull out. Next, you're going to want to max out your Roth IRA contributions. I'll put a link to a video below that I made talking about the effectiveness of a Roth IRA. IRA, and why it's the easiest way to ensure that you retire a millionaire. So after this video is over, check that out in the description below. You can contribute up to $6,000 a year into a Roth IRA account. Remember that the Roth IRA is just the account. Once the money's in the account, then you have to invest it. I always recommend using Vanguard or Fidelity and buying Vanguard index funds such as VFIAX or VTSAX or their ETF equivalent VOO or VTI. A Roth IRA is also double tax advantage, but unlike the 401k, it's on the back end. So the money you contribute to your Roth IRA is post-tax money meaning you've already paid taxes on that money. But the great part is that you don't get taxed on the growth and you also pay zero taxes when you pull the money out of the account in retirement, which they say is after 59 and a half years old. So if you contribute $200,000 to this account over your lifetime, and because you've invested it properly, it's grown to a million dollar nest egg by the time you're ready to retire. You would get to pull all that money out tax-free. That is huge. The next thing you wanna do is max out your HSA account. HSA stands for Health Savings Account. You can contribute up to $3,600 if you're single or $7,200 if you and your spouse are on the same health insurance plan. The HSA is like the Roth IRA and 401k combined because it has a triple tax advantage. The money going in is a tax deduction, the growth is tax-free, and the withdrawal is tax-free. This is a great way to add to a tax-free investment account. There's only one requirement to be able to invest into this account. You have to be enrolled in a high deductible health plan. This money doesn't only have to be used on medical expenses. Once you get past the age of 65, you can start taking this out and using it as regular income. I made a video on HSAs that goes into depth on a hack that the wealthy use to take advantage of HSAs. I'll link that video video in the description below. So be sure to go check it out at the end of the video. So once you've maxed out your HSA, you're going to go back and max out the rest of your 401k. Remember, you only contribute the amount that your employer will match at first. So we said that you contributed 5,000 and your employer matched it at 5,000 as well. So you have $10,000 total for the year in that account. You can contribute up to $19,500 to your 401k per year. So you still have another $9,500 that you can contribute to it. Remember to invest these into low cost index funds. Make sure the expense ratios on the investments inside your 401k do not exceed point 0.75%. Anything higher will significantly cut into your long-term gains. Once you've maxed out your 401k, now you can move on to invest in a normal brokerage account, like Webull, where if you deposit $100, you'll get two free stocks valued up to $1,850. So if you want two free stocks, use the link in the description below. One important thing to note for a normal brokerage account is how you're taxed. If you buy a stock and sell it under a year from the date that you bought it, you'll have to pay what's called short-term capital gains, which is the same tax rate you pay for your normal income. If you've been holding that stock for longer than a year and you sell it, then you'll pay what's called long-term capital gains tax, which is currently 15%. So definitely keep that in mind when selling stocks in a normal brokerage account. Once you've reached this point, now is a good time to start investing in other investments, such as real estate, crypto, sports cards, and NFTs. Question of the day, are you investing in the right order or what do you need to switch around? Comment down below. If you like that video, I'm gonna put another video right here that I think you'll like. So click on that video and I'll see you in the next one.